all good. All right. So we know that you have a hip problem. Can you tell me what hip you're having more problem with? Um, Is it the left? So both side of my hips, yeah. uh, it hurts when I push trolleys. When you do what? Push trolleys. Okay, push trolleys. Okay. Yeah. Uh, I think it's because of mainly the twisting. The twisting. Yeah. So when you turn with the yeah, trolley? Yeah, when I turn with the trolley, okay. uh, my hips hurt. Mm -hmm. Right. And then how long have you been having the issue like this? Uh, I think it's been like two months now. Two months. Yeah, so at the moment I'm yeah. doing lightweight work where I don't do any more push and trolleys. Mm -hmm. Okay, that's good. And then, and then, so like, do you, do you find it more uh, hurting in the morning or bothers you more in the afternoon when you push the trolley or it doesn't matter, it doesn't have time? Uh, so usually when I'm at work and I do some lifting, it yeah. sometimes hurt, but outside of work I don't really have any issue. Okay, so what kind of lifting do you do at work? Uh, for example, like lifting like a heavy box, that's mm -hmm. probably like 5 to 10 kilos. 5 to 10 kilos. Or also probably lifting from the shelf. From the shelf, yeah. okay, sounds good. And then have you done anything to manage your discomfort in your hip? Uh, yeah, so at the moment I'm doing some exercises, right. uh, for example, the side plank. Side plank? Yeah, so that will like strengthen like the hip muscle. Mm -hmm. uh, also like uh, stretching my back. Stretching your back. Yeah, and I've also been doing stuff like vertical exercises. Mm -hmm. For sure. And then, and then beside that, um, do you find uh, those exercises help you right away or it's progressively getting better? I start slowly, progressively getting mm -hmm. better. Uh, when I do the exercises, I can feel like the stretches that's mm -hmm. happening at my back and my hip. Okay, that's good. And then besides all the exercises you're doing, are you doing anything else? Like for example, uh, um, getting some massage, seeing a physio, or having medication to help you with your pain? Uh, so I do have physio for work. Mm -hmm. Uh, so he pretty much is giving me all those exercises to do every day. Mm -hmm. Okay, that's And then how long have you been seeing the physio for? Uh, for the past two months, I have six sessions. Six sessions? Yeah. Okay, so for the six sessions, do you think you have been progressively getting better with your hip? Um, so at the start, I was. But then I went on a holiday. Yeah. <laughs> um, yeah. So once I came back from my holiday, it yeah. actually got worse. Mm -hmm. Probably because I was like, you know, relaxing too much with my holiday and right. didn't do any exercises. For sure. So I, it just kind of went back to square one. Mm -hmm. So at the moment, I'm like slowly, like progressing, fully building up again. Yeah. Sounds good. Sounds good. Okay. So besides, um, like be, being able to push the tro trolley and work, do you have any goals from physio? Um, goals. Yeah. Like, what do you want to achieve from? training your hip or seeing the physio yeah i just want to like make sure like my back pain and my mm -hmm. hip pain um, goes back to pre-recovery okay so free injury yeah yeah all right awesome and i think that's the whole subjective assessment that i do with oscar good yeah and then from the subjective assessment we found the clues including um pain when twisting and bending forward and pushing um, with your legs and then no specific time of uh, discomfort. Sure. Yeah, Do you want to run through the objective as well? Yeah, of and course. And then let's discuss everything together. Sounds good. All right. All right. So, Oscar, I'll just have you uh, take off the shoes and stand yeah. here. Okay, maybe stand here facing me, please. Yeah. And I want you to um, just lift one leg up. Good. And then now switch to the other leg. Switch again. You don't have to go all the way up, just try oh, yeah. yeah. And try to bend your knees forward. Good. Switch. Good. Can you face the camera and do anything? Good. Okay, face me again, please. Yeah. Then let's try to do a squat. Do you find more slowly, please? No. Can you do five more? Oh, five more, yeah. yeah.
what do you what do you feel? Good, normal, yeah, no, no pain. pain. All right. You do you do something like uh, of this? Can you do three in a row, please? Okay, calm. It's okay. And then if you find a really challenging, you can hold on to the bed or yeah. you can uh, put your foot on the ground. That's okay. Good. And then switch like. So the left one is more offset. Yeah. Okay, good. And then, and then before we move on to some um, testing of your hip, can you just try to do um, a lunge, please? Do two more. Switch my Good. Uh, do those actions bother you at all? Um, no. It's a bit hard when I was doing that single leg. Single leg. Yeah. Feeling steady. Yeah. Yeah. It's it's okay because like. Everyone struggles a little bit with um, like reduced support on balancing yourself. All right, so can you lie down on the bed, please? And Ruby, you can come closer if you want. So what I'm gonna do is I'll just assess your hip range of motion just to take your uh, hip to different degrees of this um, range and see if anything's bothering you. Okay. Yeah. Let me hold your leg. Yeah. Like, what do you do here? It's fine. Can you go for it? Try. Do you feel um, uh, stretch? Yeah, stretch. Where? Up here. And a little bit in my back. In your back. Let me know if you feel any pain, okay? Yeah. Okay, relax. Um, yeah, it's fine. It's fine. Like you don't feel pain when I uh, go through the range of motion. Uh, no, I just feel like it's a bit tight. A bit tight. Yeah. Okay. It is relaxed? Yeah, yeah. Okay. <laughs> Alright, so I'm just gonna press gently, okay? Yeah. Yeah, where do you feel, feel a stretch? Um, fine. Yeah. Okay, no problem. 
Alright, yeah, because I think I have some more clues. Good, what do you think? Yeah. Okay, so, um. You finish your subjective objective? Yeah. Alright, grab a seat. Okay, so going back. <laughs> no, back. Um, so, tell me your findings. My finding is that uh, single X stands by largely. Let's start with subjective. Subjective. So, your findings okay. from subjective and yeah. how you've ended up with subjective. Uh, yeah, subjective. So, Oscar is a worker at the WIS because I learned that like, before he came here because we were talking. And then he experienced pain and discomfort in a hip area when he was uh, pushing a trolley, especially when he's turning with the trolley. And um, He's he regular. He exercises regularly with uh, physio and tennis. Yes. Um, he's pretty active, and he's been having the problem for over two months, and being managed with uh, another physio with six ses sessions in a row. Sure. He's been doing uh, strengthening of the hip and core mm -hmm. to uh, help hip stability and core stability. Sure. Yeah. And if you could uh, say what his problem is, what would it be? What would Oscar's problem be? Why is Oscar here today? Oh, just limiting his ability to walk. So, sorry, to work. To work. Yeah. Doing what, also? Um, so I, I work in the online department, so where I pick um, online orders. Right. Uh, I use a trolley to pick online orders, so with that trolley, it could go up to like 15, 20 kilos of pushing <laughs> and pulling and also turning. So that's the problem there. That yes. You can't do that. Yeah, I can no longer do that because um, every time I do push the trolley, um, my hip starting it starts to hurt. Okay. All right. Yeah. Um, so, from that subjective, or what other information in the subjective was relevant for you? Uh, relevant just the position of uh, what he does, mm -hmm. uh, especially when with uh, pushing and pulling, I think uh, the center of gravity had to go forward, so that's a flexed hip position. Mm -hmm. And also when turning, those internal external rotation of the hip yeah. um, in two, sorry, in both um, joints here. Yeah. Okay. And then, um, yeah. Oh, yeah. Uh, do you have pain right away when you push, or does it? Do you feel okay and then progressively feel more pain when you? Um. So lately, I've been limiting. Limiting. Uh, so I no longer do the push and pull part. Mm. But back then, like um, when I first start, probably like into pushing that trolley for up to ten minutes, um, that hip pain starts to come. Okay. Yeah. And then, how long does it go away if you take a break? Um, so usually during work, it will just stay there for the whole shift. So, oh, yeah. but like after I finish work, probably like one to two hours, uh, it will disappear. Okay, if you're giving a number from one to ten, ten being the worst pain you can imagine when you're pushing the trolley or when turning, how would you rate your pain? Um, six out of ten. Six out of ten? Yeah. And then, so throughout your entire shift, and it's still six out of ten, or it's going down gradually? I wouldn't say it's going down that much, but it will probably go down to like 4 out of 10. 4 out of 10? Yeah. And then how long is your shift? Uh, 8 hours. 8 hours? Day, yeah. Mm -hmm. So I work full time. Yeah, mm -hmm. sure. Uh, what other information is relevant to the subject? Uh, the area of your pain, yep. your hips. And, um... So this has happened over two months, right? Yeah. What happened to flare it off at the two month mark? Or is that in, is that information important? Yeah. I Why? Because because we want to find out if the if the problem is getting worse. Mm -hmm. But but oh, I think he took a break from exercising and then uh, it's sorry. There's a pause with this progression, and that's why he's are you having more pain because you took a break from doing exercises or not sure because you haven't. Uh, yeah, so once I came back from my holiday, uh, I went back to my normal routine where it just starts to feel like it really hurts. Mm. So once I went back to my old physio, uh, my previous physio, um, it pretty much limit where I don't do any more pushing and pulling and start doing the exercises. Sure. Mm. That information, why is that important? Oh, because the, the sessions didn't really change, didn't really help him. Yeah. Damage. That's right, and also if the uh, if the strategy was to limit what yeah. you can and can't do, that information, how can we relate it back to Oscar now? 
Uh, I think that we should uh, take it slowly. That is what they've suggested, right? Yeah. Is it important to find out from Oscar mm -hmm. how he how that makes him feel? Oh yeah, definitely. Why is that? Why is that information because, important to us? Because he, he like that's a, that's his work, and then he wants he wishes to go back to, to yeah. work. Yeah. 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 yeah, for sure. Oscar, how do you uh, feel about like now now be able to to work? Yeah, so obviously uh, I'm the assistant manager of that department. Uh, for the past two to three weeks, I was actually off because one, they couldn't really afford me to go to another department to work. But this week I am working at another department. But while being off, it's actually pretty hard for me to like manage that department because I'm not actually in the store and I have like no work information unless I'm my manager messages me. Mm -hmm. So here's an example. Oscar's got say pain here, he's got the problem. Mm. Previous physio has said uh, we're gonna minimize the tasks, which obviously can help. Yeah. But that doesn't help you in your in your in your profession. How does that make you feel? Is it stressful? Uh, I wouldn't say it's stressful, but it's just a bit sad that I can't actually work in my own department mm. because I actually do enjoy working in the online department. Mm. That information, how crucial is that? Very crucial. Yeah, why? Yeah. Because it's attracting his psychological. Yeah. It affects uh, ultimate performance then. Sure. Because if we go with what other therapists, it doesn't have to be physio, it could be chiro, osteo, doctors. They suggest something, but if it's not in alignment with Oscar's goal, mm -hmm. then uh, you're going to get a result of uh, a stress response or mm -hmm. something that ultimately is not conducive to healing as well. Yeah. So we keep that in mind. All right. What else? What other information is crucial in the subjective? Subjective. Oh, how often do you work? Ah, uh, yeah. So I work five days a week. Five days. Uh, Thirty-eight hours. Is, is your is your uh, income impaired by? Uh, your hip problem? Uh, yeah, so previous two to three weeks, I did take my own leave, like oh, manual okay. leave and personal leave, right. in order to compensate um, the money that I earn, because mm. I obviously am not working. Mm. And that's yeah. crucial information. Very well. crucial. Why? Because also the same, the, the building of stress and psychologically. Yeah. Um, tell me about what Oscar has done mm. to. To improve. Uh, to improve and also to you know help with his pain. Yeah, so Oscar has done has seen a physio before. Yes. To do a uh, side plank and stretching of the back. Yep. To man to build up um, the strength of the hip and also the core. Yes. And loosen up the back muscles to manage uh, the pain. And how effective has that been? Uh, according to this, uh, it's not very effective. According to Oscar, according to Oscar, Oscar's response is not very effective. How non-respond, uh, non-effective is it for Oscar? Uh, give he, me a scale. Oh, okay. oh, I think it's zero out of ten because he he's been li uh, limited to continue w w working there. Sure. And also he still has the pain. Sure. So zero. You think zero, or yeah. Oscar says zero? Oscar, what do you think? Mm. How how would we phrase that so Oscar can give us a pretty solid oh, answer? Okay. So so Oscar, if you think two two sorry two months ago. Um, when you first had the pain, you're giving a score out of 10, sorry, out of 0, and now uh, if you give a score out of 10, 10 being how much you have improved, what would you uh, rate? Uh, if I say improvement, I don't think I improved much, so it's probably like 1 or 3 out of 10. Mm -hmm. Cool. Right. So that's good. It's very good to understand from yeah. Oscar's perspective the actual percentage or the actual number. You know, that's sure. very objective. So it, I guess what what have we learned there from current physio? Yeah. Improvements about one to two yeah. out of a possible ten. Yeah. Good. Um, what did uh, anything he takes for pain medication or any no. medications? No. No. Good. Uh, what about twenty four hour pain pack? Oh, he said should we non specific like whenever he does the action that he feels pain. Yeah. Right. And no problems uh, morning or night, or is it worth finding that information out? Yeah, because you want to know is it mechanical or inflammatory. Yes, yeah. and in your 
say subjective noun, mm. can you work that out or has he answered those questions for you? Yeah, I asked him, uh, does it bother you more in the morning than not having What would you say? Uh, it doesn't bother me um, mm. outside of work because um, mainly one, um, I don't think about it. Mm. Um, but when I do come into work, I can like immediately feel that pain. Mm. Okay. Do you usually start work in the morning? Yeah, I start work in the morning at like 7 or 8 o'clock. Mm. And before coming to the work, you don't feel the pain? Just come uh, so when I wake up, I'm like pretty much like Oh, okay. That's good. And then do you wake up in the middle of the night because of the pain or no? Uh, no. Okay, that's good. Cool. So in the subjective, what is the key information that you've just learned? Well, what are the key asterisks that you can say, yep, this is the crucial information for Oscar today? For Oscar today? Oh, first, the, the, the area. Second, the scale of the pain, the severity of the pain. Sure. Also, uh, the uh, irritability of the pain. Yep. So it's really, uh, sorry, it's not that irritable. Okay. It takes like uh, 30 to 10 to 30 minutes to have an onset, but it, it, it gradually goes down. Like It takes a long time to residual the pain, and the pain lasts up to eight hours, and then it's only going down from six to four. Sure. Yeah. Okay. So, um, and from, um, uh, if we go back to some of the things in the subjective, mm. what are some, um, there's the pushing and pulling. Yeah. In, uh, do we have an idea of the weights that he's pushing and pulling? Oh, the 10, 15 kilo. 10, 15 kilos? Yeah. Okay. Yeah. 10, 15 kilos. And um, duration, you've covered that, that's okay. So that's mm. 10 minutes, after 10 minutes it's hurting and then it lasts yeah. eight hours. Uh, any other functional limitations that you can think of? Functional limitation? Because obviously it's this movement here, right? Yeah. So pushing and then I guess pulling as well. What are, yeah. Can you think of any other functional limitations he may have that we could ask him? Uh, how are you getting in and out of the house because you could potentially open your door and close your door? Yeah, so I feel like with body weight, like I'm fine. Yeah. But if I have like external weight on me, that I'm pushing and pulling, that yeah. will mainly impact the pain. How do you find playing tennis? Like, there's a lot of hip rotation. Yeah, so with tennis, um, I don't play for like a large extent. Mm -hmm. uh, I probably play like an hour or an hour and a half, which is fine. Yes, yeah, so I don't really, like at least 90 to 95% of the time, I don't feel that pain. Mm -hmm. 90 to 95, okay, that's good. Right. So, we've identified, or oh, what have we identified there then? Oh, like it's okay during ADLs, like an activity daily of living. Yeah. ADLs seem to be good. Yeah. Um, an hour and a half of tennis, which is endurance space, that's somewhat good. Okay. So the power he needs to create in a push pull for 10 mm. is then the clue. Oh, yeah. Yeah? He, so he needs to build up the strength to be able to put, push. Uh, well, it seems like it's yeah. a strength issue, right? Yeah. Because. Yeah. If ADLs, which requires minimal force, mm -hmm. endurance, tennis for an hour and a half, it's not doing too much, then yeah. he's fine too. But only 10 minutes of pushing and pulling with, what is it, 10 kilos? Like 10, 15. 10, 15 is enough. Yeah. So see how we're getting a picture towards, you know, that kind of strength deficit that we should have pushed out. Yeah. Yeah. Cool. Subjective done, we're getting that kind of information. Right. Not irritable, we know areas of discomfort, mm -hmm. we have a pain pattern, we know what he's doing for pain medication, pain yeah. management, yeah. and we have an idea of some of the deficits he may have, which is strength. Yeah. All right. Does that sound okay? That sounds really good. Yeah. yeah it was All fun. right. Tell yeah. me about the objective now. Oh, yeah, so uh, Oscar was having unsteadiness um, bilaterally uh, when he's doing single leg stands. Um, so he's uh, unsteady for about 10%, he was shifting about 10% bilaterally. Left leg was, sorry, right leg was more impaired um, for about 5 to 10%. And when he was doing uh, squat, it was um, pretty much normal, but right leg was um, adducted and internally rotated for 5 to 10 degrees. Yeah, and then when he's doing single leg, um, <coughs> Squat, it was more unsteady, I would say 20% uh, unsteadiness bilaterally, and then there was um, 10 to 15 degrees internal rotation or adduction 
on the right leg when he's going down. Mm. And when we did the um, lunges, it was similar results. So it was about the same when he was doing a uh, single leg squat. Sure. Yeah. Um, so there's in the objective, you've done observation. Yeah. Observation. Uh, what's next? Oh, I did some impairment assessment. Which is? Which is the hip range of motion. Okay. And um, so for the hip range of motion, I, I got him to do uh, hip flexion, hip internal rotation, hip external rotation, and uh, just feeling the, the joint, joint capsule. Yes. Also, I did a favor uh, test. Okay, so you've done the special tests? Yeah, I've done the special test. Cool. Um, any, big ch any big differences? Oh, yes. Yeah, so when I was doing the uh, subjectives, sorry, when I was doing the impairment based assessments, uh, Oscar's left leg had, I would say, five to ten degree less flexion compared to the right one, and the right one, the entire uh, joint capsule just feels more, uh, sorry, feels ten percent looser compared to the left. Okay. And then when I was doing an internal external rotation of the um, hip, um, the right one had forty five degree. Um, in external rotation, yes, and had more, sorry, up to seventy degree um, internal rotation, where, where the left hip had almost to eighty degree external rotation and um, forty degree internal rotation, and then when I was doing um, the Faber's test, um, the left knee was um, about. 10 centimeters, sorry, the length of the the leg mm -hmm. away from the plane, but the right one was about 20 meters uh, above the plane. So like 20 centimeters. centimeters. Yeah, and then the limitation is coming from the, the medial side of the leg, it's not coming from the, the joint. Right. Yeah. Uh, so out of all those tests, which one stood out to you the most? Oh, the Faber test. The Faber's on yeah. the right. On the right. In terms of range. In terms of range. 20 centimeters, this yeah. one's 10. Uh, so you've done the special tests, mm -hmm. you've done the observation, palpation? Oh, palpation, no, I didn't yeah. do that. Should we? We should. Why? Because um, I, I actually saw his radiology earlier, he mm -hmm. has deformity of the hip, okay. so maybe having some palpation can give us more clues on. And I guess that's something we need to cover in the subjective as well, isn't yeah. it? You know, the x-rays and the yeah. scans and things like that. So yeah. let's just visit that bit. What, Scans has Oscar had. Oh, X-ray. Yeah. Is that X-ray? Yeah. What were the what were the findings from that? Oh, my finding is reduced. Um, uh, was called compared to the left one to the right one. Left one has unclear joint line of the hip joint, and also uh, it has. Oh, I, I don't know how to describe it. It's just like the the what was it called the the uh, the. Uh, the femur head, mm -hmm. femur head was closer to the. So it's a closing in of the joint space. Yeah, closing yeah. in so of the joint space. Not enough joint space. Yeah. All right. So that's the X-rays. Mm -hmm. um, so we have a uh, observation, palpation, special tests are done. What are the other tests that we need to do? We could potentially access um, the the sacroiliac joint. Yes. Doing the special test. Mm -hmm. Let's just look at hip for a moment hip because moment. we. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, you've done that really nicely and also looking at how we've identified in the subjective we wanted to look at strength right yeah what are some of the things we need to look at oh I guess we can do the strength isolating the each movement including flexion extension yeah. internal rotation and external rotation. why is that why would we do that oh, because obviously he was having a strength uh, issue mm -hmm. and I uh, like doing that can just assess the deficit between the two joints the two yeah. joints. Yeah. So we need to do muscle uh, and then strength test. Yeah. Yep. Yeah. Should we do a muscle length test? Or oh, yes, we should. Yeah. Because uh, he's having limited range of motion, mm. so we should assess the the piron also assess the the what's it called muscle length test. Yeah. Why is that important? Uh, because we can figure out uh, from the diagram that Kazo has, we can figure out the muscle tightness and also the strength. So, <laughs> so we have muscle strength, muscle length. Yeah. Um, any um, active range of motion? Um, yes. And passive range of motion? 
Yeah, I just did the passive parental You just did the passive. Should we do active? I think we should. Why? Because we need to see um, if there's anything limiting Oscar to go further. Yes. And then assess the, the end feel of the joint because yes. um, it could be contributing to our clinical reason. Yeah, and also what's the difference between an active test and a passive test? What is the main contributing? Contributing? As or what, yeah. what is the main thing we'll test with an active versus a passive? Oh, it's, it's more like a contractor and inert tissues. That's right. So it's yeah. more the, the, you're testing the muscle, right? Yeah. So given in the subjective that Oscar was with, looking at uh, strength, should we do active? Yes, yes. Oh, definitely. Yeah? yeah, so we do active and then obviously compare it to passive. Mm -hmm. um, so that's important. Uh, what else? <coughs> Now, so th that covers the hip area. Yeah. Are there any other joints that could contribute to Oscar's issue? Um, potentially, like all joints around the hip, including lumbar, uh, thoracic. And why? Why is that? Why do you think that? Because that's part of the connective chain. Because also, Oscar, when he pushes the, the load coming from the shoulder to your thoracic to the lumbar, mm -hmm. if one joint is really tight, it could be overcompensation from other joint, for example, here at the hip. Sure. Yeah. What's another reason we have to check these other joints? Um, that's a really good reason. Oh, thank you. <laughs> and what's um, another reason? Other reason just to. Um, I'll give you a clue. It's something to do with his history. History. Oh, let me think. History. Let me think. Um, so, given the history. X-rays and the yeah. long-standing issue with. Yeah. Uh, say that uh, the degenerative changes in the hip yeah what other areas would help support a hip when it's like that oh like that's in the hips. yeah but everything you name mm -hmm. can actually then help a hip that's uh, you know relatively weak for a long period of time yeah. or relatively um, you know when you have those uh, changes as bad as they have been as bad as they have been mm -hmm. then all these other areas have to compensate from sure probably a younger age. Yeah, I think so too. Yeah. So even if the hip is great, yes, I agree, you want to check those other things, exactly like, as you said, you're going to have a compensatory mechanism. But when there's uh, different uh, degenerative changes, then yeah, mm. you're more likely to have these other areas compensating yeah. for that, for sure. Okay. So, what other areas would, what are the, Say, if we had to choose two more areas to look at first, yeah. what would they be? I think it would be um, the lower back mm -hmm. and also the knee. So, in my opinion, yeah. yeah. So, you just go joint, one joint above, one joint below. Mm -hmm. That sort of covers it. Uh, and then, you know, further up if we're not getting any information. Now, there was something else that we can relate back to. Mm -hmm. uh, Oscar has had physio before. Uh, just remind me, Oscar, what type of exercises have you had? Um, so some of them would be like stretching of the lower back, okay. um, strengthening the core and the hips, such as side plank, grip of vertebra, um, and some tabletop. Um, and because and those were the main ones. Yeah, the main yeah. ones. So if they're the main ones, what information do we need to work out if those exercises have been somewhat effective? Knowing that in our subjective, yeah. we, we're thinking, this area. you know, he doesn't need endurance, yeah. he doesn't need ADLs, but he needs power, yeah. you know, the, the, uh, the strength component, right. the, the, the intensity of the, the load, because Oscar said essentially when the load is behind his body weight, he started to have, have the pain, That's right. but the actions he's been doing doesn't really exist. Body weight. Exactly. Yeah. It doesn't. Well, we'll need to find out, but that's sure. something I'd probably recommend you find out. Yeah. Because that gives us another indication whether what exercise you have been doing has been uh, effective or not, and then you, you know how they could become sensitive for sure with your changes. Because the worst thing anyone can do is Oscar comes in and says, "This is what my previous physio has given me," and then. I've seen this all the time through this. Uh, the other physios would say, "Oh, let's, you know, let's consider these exercises again, or you know, mm -hmm. do it that way." You'd want to, you know, really delve into why those yeah. changes are occurring. 
All right, what should we do now? Uh, we should go to the active retro motion and um, what's called the joint above, joint below. Yeah. yeah, well, I do active range of motion, you've yeah. done passive. Yeah. I do muscle strength, muscle, muscle length. Strength. Yeah, muscle length. And that alone can pick up a lot of data for you. For sure. And then work out exactly which muscle group you might need to hit first. Okay, yeah. Yeah. All right. okay. sounds good. All right, I'll start. just have you lay on, lay on your back. Before Oscar does that, what's a good question to ask Oscar right now after this discussion? After oh, how are you feeling now? Uh, like, what's your understanding in physio? Sorry? Like do you do you have more understanding in physio? Like, uh, yeah, I understand a lot more of like why uh, yeah. I have that mm -hmm. Okay, that's good. Me too. Does that help you? Uh, yeah. In what way? Uh, it just gives me like a basic understanding of uh, what, what what causes my injury. Yeah. And I hope what it does is it gives you an understanding of why we're doing what we're doing. You know? So we're continuing to look into it deeper. Yeah. yeah. Because a lot of times education is really important in um, treating the client because you, you, you need to know what direction you're going down in order to have the best outcome. Yeah. All right. Over to you. Thank you. Okay, so what we're going to do now is called active rental motion. So you're going to bring a knee, probably to a shoulder, a chest if you, if you can. Good. Now the, the, uh, the furthest you can go. Yeah. Okay, can you relax this now and just press it down? How are you feeling there? Uh, that's a big stretch. Just stretch? Yeah. Okay, can you try this one? All the way down? Good. What's the what is you from going further? Uh, this is, uh, I feel like the tightness over here. Um, oh yeah, at the front. Yeah. Okay. Perhaps. Good. Okay. And then so now let's try and have you have you like hold this position. Hold it here. Don't let me push you. Hold, 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 hold. Good. Relax. And then now I want you to go through your chest again, and then I'll, and then you have to fight against me. Okay. Ready? Go. Go, 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 much stronger, sorry, I think um, five kilos stronger than the left. Oh, sorry, the right. Yeah. Okay, what we're gonna do now is we're going to do, um, so I want you to hold this. What percentage difference did you say? Or what did you say? Five kilo, five kilo difference. How do you know it's five kilo? Because I, I press on it. Oh, I should have a, yes. what's called? So, then was it four and a half, six and a half, or five exactly? Don't know. Relatively yeah. five kilo. So we can just eyeball that, or yeah. not eyeball, this is some, something that comes from feel. Yeah. So I'd probably say I wouldn't call it kilos. Yeah. What What's another way of being objective about it? Uh, like, if I would say 10 out of 10 is a good strength, um, the left leg is 10 out of 10, and the right leg is um, probably a 7 out of 10. Okay. From my perspective. And that's really great because yeah. now we know while watching that's about a 30% deficit. Yeah. Yeah. That's much better than saying, oh, yeah, it's 5 kilos. Right. Because that's not scientific. You, you don't know. For sure. Okay. So, Oscar, I'm going to bend your knee here and I want you to hold this position to let me push, you, push your leg. In the same way here. You hold this position here. Hold, hold this position when I push it. Yeah, I think if this one is a 10 out of 10, this one is a 7 as well. And I'll just stop here. Okay, up here and then don't let me push you this way. Hold here, hold here. Hold, hold, hold. Wait, hold. No, I'm pushing this way with, with your hand. Ah, okay. Ready? Hold, 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 hold. Relax. This here, ready. The same thing. Hold here. Good. I think this one was a ten. This one was a eight point five two nine. Pretty good. In, uh, doctor's internal rotation. Yeah. Okay. And then, and then um. Now just sit on the edge of the toilet. 
sit here. And then what we're going to do is we're going to move your leg this way. And then make sure your toes and your, so your heel and your knee are pointing forward. Relax again. Go one more time. Good. How do you feel? Uh, feels a bit tight. Where? Uh, up to here. Oh, okay, where, where do you feel tightness? Uh, like here. Yeah, in yeah. the knee? Okay. And then can you go the other way, please? No, this one. Ah. Uh, good. Where do you feel tightness? Uh, like here. Like here? Yeah. What's stopping you from going further? Is it here? Ah. Uh, yeah, I feel like it's the bone or something, but. The not, bone? Yeah, not too sure, but. Okay, yeah. sounds good. All right. And then, can you try the same with this leg? Going that way first? What's stopping you from going further? Okay, relax and try this one again. Going that way. Good, relax. So they have pretty similar range of motion. I would say equal a lot of time. All right, and then going this way. Good. What's stopping you from going further? This one, if that one's 10 out of 10, that one's uh, 9 out of 10. Yeah. Okay, what we're gonna do now is uh, have a stand here, look this way. You just see, see the extension of the hip. So, um, try to. Actually, can you, can you lie on the bed face down, please? So uh, what I want you to do is bring your leg off the bed, the thigh, the knee, good. Okay, relax, and this one, good, relax. Okay, what I'm, what I'm going to do now is have you do this again, one more time, good. Okay, relax, this one again. If, if this one is a 10 out of 10, for range of motion, that one is a uh, uh, 8.5 out of 10 for range. And then this one up again. And I want you to hold this position to let me push you down. Good. This one up. Hold this position to let me push you down. Good. All right, the strength is equal on both sides. Sure. Yeah. When you're doing that test, is it worthwhile doing it with a bent knee as well? Yeah, to assess different muscles. Why and why not? Uh, why? Because um, we're, we're putting uh, what's it called the the calves off stretch. Yes. So they're not. And also with the knee straight. Yeah. More lever. And more lever, but also, uh, it's probably not the most functional thing. Yeah. Back here, right? So sure. even when we walk. Yeah. So if you're up, I'll hold this position. Don't let me push it down. Good. And this one up. Bend your knee. Good. And for this position, don't let me push you down. Good. Relax. So it's just giving you more information yeah. for things of uh, function. Yeah. Okay. Let's let's do the I guess what I'm saying is we don't always walk around with a straight knee. Yeah, <laughs> that's that's fine. okay. Oscar, let's do some strength. I'm oh, sorry, not strength. Lengthening test. How are you yeah. feeling? Can you take a break? No, it's fine. Oh, okay. good. Sounds good. Alright, how about lie down? That's a good question, Victor. Yeah. Why is it important? Well, from the testing that you're doing, do you think yeah. we could make him irritable given his subjective history? We could if we go to 10 minutes of pushing him. Yeah. yeah. So see how you're working that out. Yeah. Now, if you actually push him to that high load, mm -hmm. which we need that power and that strength, yeah. You're testing for 10 minutes just on that. Yes, then it'll reproduce it. But are we worried about that? Uh, not, not no. Really. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. So therefore, yeah. does he need the break? He doesn't. No. Yeah. But that's why even saying, oh, do you need a break? Uh, you know, you can actually work that out. Right. For sure. But what I like saying is, look, if there's anything that I'm doing where it's going to aggravate your discomfort, then let me know. Mm. Um, or... 
yeah, if it's bringing on any type of uh, yeah. common sy symptoms, let me know. But once again, you're in full control of that full because control. you've understood the subjective. Yeah. Oh, also, before we do the lensing test, I'm just going to assess your abductors of your leg. Yeah. That's okay. So just lie facing in on the bed. Lie down on the face of the bed. And then leg straight. So what I want you to do is lift your leg up. Good. And hold this position so I can push you down. Good. Okay. And look to the other side, please. Okay. Lift your leg up. So when you push it down, hold, 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 hold. Good. And then, so what I want you to do is, um, we're going to do to test the width of your muscle. Okay. So the first thing I'm going to do is have your leg um, here bent. Oh, also my manual handling for this one's really bad. So please judge me as much as you want. Okay. Re relax. Let me hold you. I'm going to move your your knee. The joint, okay? Yeah. Are you feeling here? Yeah, it's fine. Actually, I'm just gonna do a uh, what's called Tom, uh, Thompson's test. All right. Thomas. Thomas. Okay. Uh, get up from the bed and stand here. So what I'm going to have you do is uh, just walk your way to the edge of the bed here. Go back a little bit. I want you to lie down all the way back. Down. Yeah, so your leg is hanging off the bed. Okay, relax your leg, and then I want you to hold your knee to your chest. Hold this one to your chest. Use oh, your shoulder. Sure. Okay, all the way to your chest. Is it further as you can go? Yeah. Okay, how are you feeling here? Fine, it's fine. It's fine? Yeah. So if I go here, do you feel. How are you feeling? Uh, yeah, I think that's my limit. Yeah. That's your limit. How are you feeling here? Yeah, it's fine. Oh, I actually kind of forgot. But is, is it pressing down first or assessing the... It doesn't matter as long as you do both one at a time. All right, can you put this one to your chest? All the way. Good. And then if I go down here, or do you feel, can you go further? Oh, yeah. A little bit more. Oh, yeah. How are you feeling now? Yeah, that's it. That's it? Okay. And then from here, it's important to say, keep your press to your leg. Oh, yeah. And you just relax. I was going to take that break. You can go ahead and try. So you can press down, relax down. Oh, and you can use your leg. Oh, okay. Okay. That's not going to go in there, and then you can mm. just. Mm. For sure. Alright, I'm going to give it a try, okay? Yeah. Relax here. Yeah. Where do you feel the stretch? Uh, here. Like the front of this left leg. Your left? Yeah. What well, about your right? Right is fine. Right is fine? Yeah. Okay, what about now? From the um, Thomas test, we found out that it's more. Oh, he has. If this one was a 10 out of 10 for knee flexion, this one was. And then this one was a 7 out of 10 for the measurement. I think um, 
it feels more uh, tennis in the thigh, indicating it's uh, the rectus femoris tennis. Yeah. Sure. So given everything that you found now, uh -huh. are you happy with what you've done with the hip joint assessment? Oh, I was gonna do um, the glutes and what was it called? The uh, hamstring and also uh, length, uh, length and strength. Yeah, length and strength. Yeah, why is that? Why are you doing that? Oh, uh, just to see if any muscle is tight, any muscle is weak. Yeah. And why is that? Why? Because um, Oscar's having a um, hard time pushing objects. And it could be a tight muscle limiting the range of motion for uh, successfully activate other muscles to push the trolley. Yeah, first of all, th those are the muscles that are required for those tasks, but right. also those are muscles that cross the hip joint. joints. Yeah. And, uh, you know, the hip joint is quite closely connected with that. So, yeah, that's your reasoning. All right. Okay, so lie back down, please, and just come assess your boots and your strength. His hip is kind of impinged up here because he feels more impingement rather than the stretch of his okay. hands. That's what he's feeling. What are you feeling I when feel you like, do? I feel like uh, what I feel is I feel the uh, the joint capsule is like pretty normal. I'll do assess this side to see if there's any difference. So if this one range of motion is a 10 of 10, this one is a 8.5 to 9 out of 10. Thank you. And your legs. What are you feeling here? Yeah, that's that's okay. Here's okay. Yeah, it's fine. I'm doing that because I'm just feeling um, where is the discomfort in a 12 o'clock. Um, direction and then he has uh, pretty he has oh how, how do you feel discomfort out of 10 like 10 being the most um, annoying thing ever um probably like four four okay i'll do that so that's what he's feeling what are you feeling in that clock face in the clock face i feel like oh it, is it equal yeah it's equal it's equal yeah and it's equal. Uh, uh one o'clock and eleven o'clock is where you're feeling yeah uh, yeah, internal, yeah, so medial to the midline. Okay, so not a big difference left and right? Not, not a big difference. Or yeah. no difference? I think no difference. Mm -hmm. Good, yeah. Okay, right. what we're going to do now is I'm going to bring the leg up. Okay, so I'm going to leg to the straight. Um, a slightest stretch. Mm -hmm. Can I go further? No. No? Okay. And in this test, what are you trying to ascertain? Uh, uh, you know, uh, hamstring muscles. Hamstring. Yeah. So another way of doing that really well is bend the knee. So one, you've got 90 degrees hip or 90 degrees knee, right. and then you're simply bringing that up. And you can control that as right. you do this. And then you just have one measure, which is from either here, mm -hmm. or the maximum would be 90, mm -hmm. and then that's what you're able to measure. Otherwise, a straight leg raise, you're, it's okay, you can still measure it, yeah. but this will give you another indication. So it's particularly two tests that you can use mm -hmm. to get that information. Okay. Relax. Relax, relax, relax. I'll say it's very equal. Cool. Mm -hmm. 
what's it called? Like a hamstring. Hamstring range. Yeah, and then I'll just do um, uh, abduction if you see the abductors. Okay, so I'll just put it Oh, actually, it's been so long since I did OST. <laughs> <laughs> I'll, I'll, I'll bring it over. Um, this way, what do you feel? You can go by that. I think that one is uh, like 80 degrees, this one is 70 degrees. So this one, uh, the right one has less abduction compared to the left. Oh, sorry. Oh, yeah, the left. Yeah. Um, this is the leg. Yeah. So, all your tests are done? Yeah. For the hip? Mm -hmm. What are your findings now? Now findings. that you've done all the hip tests, what are your yeah. findings? Um, what are your yeah, crucial, critical findings? Crucial critical finding is the tightness of the right adductor, and also because because from the fever and uh, abduction, uh, range of motion is here, and then uh, what's it called? Oh, fine, I forgot which one is stronger. Which one was stronger? Remember? Do you remember? Which one I said was stronger? Was it hard? You said left was stronger. Oh, left was stronger. Right was weaker. Yeah, mm. and then and then. I think it might be the stiffness that's limiting the strength. Yes. So we know from your findings this side is stronger. Yeah. This side's weaker. Yeah. No, it's the other way, isn't it? Oh, left was stronger. Yeah, right is weaker. Yeah, you're gonna find out again, right? Yeah. But that's part of the journey of really exploring and making sure you're doing the right thing. Right. So. Stronger, weaker, this is tighter? Yeah. Yeah. Um, so in all your objective signs, which one stood out to you the most where there's a big imbalance between the signs or which objective signs can you say, oh yeah, that's the worst objective sign? I, I obviously still the five because I, I told him to relax when he was like, yeah. Yep, good. Yeah. So favors is one. So yeah. that's a really good test to reproduce or uh, redo every time when You've yeah. got, uh, say, you're doing a treatment. Yeah. Yeah. And then you can use the favors in right. favor of that. What else? What else? It was the hip impingement. Hip impingement at one and eleven o'clock. Yeah. But that wasn't a major objective sign. Right? Yeah. What are the major objectives? Uh, major objective sign is the, the. Was the left leg strong? Let's work that out. Can you hold here? Hold, 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 hold. Good. Hold, 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 hold. Yeah, that's just strong. That's just strong. Yeah. Yeah. So there was that strength deficit on this side yeah. by about 20-30% as you said. Yeah. And this was 10 out of 10, that was like 7 or 8. 10 out of 8. Yeah. Yeah. So what were the other asterisks? So there was strength deficit, hip flexors, what else? What else? I think, uh, oh, I think all the external and internal rotation are strength? having strength deficit. Also, the resolution to this one is tight. You can go more uh, internal. And this one, you can go more here. Yes. Can go less. And that's range. Yeah, range. But you're talking about strength, right? The strength. Also, strength. Yeah. Strength, I think. Uh, oh, for what I mean, was it? Was it this one stronger? Yeah, that's strong. Yeah. Left is stronger really in all directions. Yeah. And then range wise. Yeah. Uh, Aaron, Aaron was equal. Okay. Yeah. Uh, active range of motion was equal. Yeah. Uh, was passive range of motion. Passive range of motion, no, it's it's not. Like. Um, and where's the deficit? Uh, the weaker the impaired leg has more range of motion. Which has more range of motion. Yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah. yeah. I'm not the working on internal rotation. Right. This is internal yes. yeah. 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 This one was okay. This one was okay. It was, it was okay. It was kind of, yeah. Uh, within the normal range, but this one has more. So what's the picture we're getting? This has more range but weaker. Yeah. Yeah. This one uh, is 
Tighter? Yes. Is it tighter? Yeah. From your, from, my, from your findings? Right. But strength is fine. Strength is fine. Okay. So given that, what would you like to do? I would like to... Yeah. help us with that. I would like to uh, first loosen up the muscles here in, in the hip, left hip, okay. and then strengthen the right hip. Okay. Yeah. Uh, I, I was thinking um, here because... Oh, also I will, I will loosen the abductors on, yeah. on this right well, Why do you say that? Why did you say you want to do the abductors? Oh, because that one was the most um, tightest, tightest spot. Yes. Right. So when you palpated the abductors, yeah. There was a lot more tightness through there. Oh yeah, it is. Yeah, yeah. yeah. So are you tickled? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. So, so going back to what you want to do, because you want to target the worst signs first, right? Mm -hmm. So your worst signs are favors, is it? Yeah. Test, but yeah. that's a very bad sign. Mm -hmm. Okay, that's that's good for us to know. Um, yeah. Right adductor, yeah, tight, needs to be loosened off. Right, I talked to you. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, and then right leg, mm -hmm. strength wise. Yeah. So what are the movements? Hip flexion, hip flexion, extension, flexion, internal external rotation. And external rotation. Yeah. yeah, yeah. So given we've got time over the next fifteen minutes, what would you do now yeah. to help Oscar? I would, I would give him exercises. I would teach him exercises. Yep, and also potentially come to come back for a longer session. Sure. But we've got 15 minutes, yeah. and you're the expert right. with hands-on skills. What would you do? I would I would loosen up this. Um, why oh. this and why not the adapter? Oh yeah, this adapter. Yeah, because oh. the adapter is the yeah. one where the problem is. How would you loosen it up? Uh, soft tissue, and also I can do some uh, static uh, muscle activation. Just when you engage the muscle, it loosens. It loosens up. Good. Yeah. How quickly, in your experience, do you think that could loosen up? Like 30 minutes, 30 seconds to one minute, to loosen up. That's mm -hmm. a pretty good result. I mean, that's a pretty good treatment to do yeah. to get a uh, result that quickly. Right. After you do a treatment like that, what are you going to retest? Re reassess the fever and mm -hmm. also the abduction of the hip. Yeah. Well, was the abduction uh, restricted? Uh, uh, compared to this side, it was less motion. motion. Yeah. Because this is where, if we had a list of functional tests, we'd be reassessing that. Or also the, the but Fabers is a nice one because it's a very good solid test to, to reassess. All right, yeah. off you go. All right, so I'll ask my Just have your leg pointing here. Press that forward. I'm going to press down this muscle. Hopefully, you have really good pain tolerance. Okay. Yeah. I'm joking. Okay. How are you feeling here? Yeah. It's fine. Okay. I'm just gonna. How do you feel? Yeah. 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 It happens. That hurts. Yeah. From scale one to ten. Yeah, probably like a ten. Ten? Yeah. Oh, I'm not even putting that much pressure on. See, we're the detectives in human body. What about now? Yeah, it's fine. How uh, from scale one to ten? Uh, probably like three. Three? Okay, I'll go a little yes. harder. What about now? Uh, like at seven. Seven? Okay, just gonna press a little bit harder to eight. is definitely really tight. Yeah, okay, so what I want you to do now is I can give you one exercise to work on your adductors because sometimes if your adductor is really tight, it, it can be really weak, okay? Yeah. So I'll have you to get up on a bed and we're going to do some exercise.
Okay, so we're going to do this with your right leg in the right. So you're going to have a plank position here. And then just hold. Sit on that. Have your knee. Sorry, I'm going over here. Come through here. Yeah. Right. So right, leg here. Yeah. And then and then go into a plank position. Side plank. This one just bring your knee closer to the ceiling. Is it hard? Right. Wow. Okay. So let's start with. Uh, I'll make it higher. So let's take a break right now. Oh, it was a big improvement on the wrench. Ah, for five. Uh, oh, I think that doesn't reduce five centimeters. So Faber's improved. Yeah, Faber improved. Okay, and, and what are you doing now? I'm doing. I'm giving you a uh, exercise to because I think a lot of times the tightness is linked to weakness. So I'm doing um, the side plank to work on the adductor here. Oh. Okay, so Oscar, what I want you to do is do it with your right leg and you're going to have your left knee on the, on the board and then you're going to hold here, okay? And then so your, sorry, your left knee is not touching the ground. Hold on, just give me one second. This is really so with this, Victor, what's the reason you're giving an adductor strengthening? Why are you doing an adductor strengthening? Because uh, I think I'm thinking the tightness could be linked to the weakness of the adductor. It could be linked. Yeah. Is it linked? No, I'm, I'm doing this to find out if it helps with the range of motion. If sure. Not, I'll give him another exercise. Well, put it this way, right? Did yeah. you test adductor strength before? Oh, I did, I did not. No. Okay. So is it worthwhile giving him an adductor exercise? Uh, no. I can Answer. also work on the antagonist muscle. Well, first of all, you found some really good deficits in his strength. Yeah. What movements were they? All the movement. Yeah. All the movement. So is it worthwhile then targeting those? Yes. Okay. All right. Out of those, which one, in your, from your findings, which one was the one that stood out the most? Uh, was it hip flexion, hip extension? Uh, uh, you checked abduction. Mm. Uh, you checked internal, external rotation. Which one stood out to you? I think it was one of the internal, external rotations. Also, I hop on, on the bed. Let me just reassess. Yeah. So it was the right one, go up here, so hold it here, don't let me push you, okay? Yeah. No, 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 no. Like, this hand, down. Okay, hold here, don't let me push you. Down, right. Yeah, I'm, I'm going, my hand's going this okay. way, I want you to hold here, okay? Ready? Do I have the equal? So that's equal? Yeah. Uh, so, if you look at hip flexion, hip extension, uh, internal, external rotation, which ones for you stood out? where you thought, yep, these are weak. I mean, we knew that there's, if the right, uh, the, the left side for Oscar was a 10 out of 10, Let me just do one more time for the right side had deficits of 20, 30%. Oh, what I'm trying to figure out is which one, which, which one movement is more, was more. I would, I would, I would say, um, what was it called? The external rotation was uh, not as good as the internal rotation. Okay. Because like also like activating the external rotation of oh, sorry external rotator of the hip that's going to inhibit activation of the adductors because adductors sometimes uh, has to be loosened in order sure. to have external so we know that right I mean that's yeah. you're connecting a movement but what first of all you went and treated the adductor because that was the most objective sign right what you then said is yes yeah, strength in the hip is down yeah so what i'm asking you is was it hip flexion hip extension internal rotation external rotation which of those fours would you which of those four would be uh i would like to process yeah go for it the here. good okay hold here okay and then hold here Uh, it was uh, this way. Hip, uh, internal, internal rotation. rotation. Yeah. <clears throat> so, in that case, should we give Oscar a hip uh, internal rotation exercise? We should. Yeah, why? Because that's the weakness. That's the most um, picked up uh, that's right. weakness he has. So, 
we need to create something that is more to create power, right? Yeah. We don't want something for as common as ADLs. We don't want something as common as um, you know endurance. Yeah. So we're looking at a strengthening, uh, strengthening regime, a, a strengthening dosage. Right. Yeah. Yeah. So what kind of dosage would you be giving Oscar? I, will, I, will, I think he has a pain when he's pushing 10 to 15 kilos. So I think I have two, approach, two approaches to the dosage. One is uh, he does he's, he does five kilos uh, to start if he, he can do it for, like, for example, like 10 minutes to see if there's pain. And also another thing is we can um, have a like, self-reported intensity. Uh, about 75% to build the strength. Sure. So what is the strengthening dosage? That strengthening dosage. What are the strengthening oh, dosages? Oh, three to five times a week. And uh, what's it called? Uh, six, to, six to eight reps, repetitions with a short period of rest. Okay, what, what is a short period of rest? Uh, 30 seconds to 30, uh, 60 seconds. Sure. Yeah. So we want internal rotation of the hip. Yeah. Yep, internal rotation of the hip. Uh, we want to create strength in it, mm. okay? Uh, looking at creating that, what type of, would you use equipment? Would you use, what, what would you use? I mean, that oh, yeah. strengthening dosage is excellent. Thank you. What, what would you? I would, I would use uh, equipment, or obviously Oscar has, so he can practice at home, or he can do at a gym. We have a gym on the trip, right? Yeah. All right, so that's good. So what would he do at the gym? Uh, he would do, I'm just trying to figure out what access that has to, has this movement. So we're trying to get hip. Yeah, I guess, I guess he can have a, what's it called? A, uh, what's it called? Uh, what's the machine called again with the rope? With the, the pulley? Oh, pulley, and then he can have a leg like, rest on the, Chair plane and then just going this way. Okay. And then oh, and then so isometric, having a band uh, attached to the wall and just hold this position for mm -hmm. for uh, thirty seconds. So where would the pulley be on that direction or this direction? So if we're going this way, the pulley should the force is going this way. This way. Yeah, against the resistance. Yeah. Yeah. And that, you said three sets. Yeah. Three, three to sets. five sets yeah. of six to eight. Six to eight, yeah. Thirty second break. Mm -hmm. How many times a week? Uh, we suggest start with three times a week, and then because we're aiming to do as long as more than ten minutes. Mm -hmm. Yeah, but we can start with um, three sets. Sorry, it's three times a week and three sets each session, just to build a strength. Yeah, to, just to start. The other question is, you talked about a band. Yeah. 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 Um, he can use the band at home too because yes. he doesn't need to always go to the gym to do that for sure yeah yeah and it's the same thing he can tie it up mm -hmm. and do that movement yeah uh after how many sessions of that yeah do you think oscar will make an improvement in that improvement. i i'm thinking of uh six sessions in two weeks he will make improvement yeah because well obviously it takes time rest for the muscle to grow, to for the strength to come. Okay. Um, I'm also saying uh, six weeks because I want Oscar to train for a longer period. Yes. Because it's a strength deficit that's causing the problem. Yeah. Yeah. Sometimes muscle activation can happen how quickly? Oh, 30 seconds, very quickly. Muscle activation can happen very quickly, and within a matter of even days. Yeah. Like you know, uh, sometimes in my experience, up to five days. Five days. Uh, to maximum 14 days, they can get some solid results if the dosage is right yeah. and we're targeting the right exercise. Mm. So considering we're saying, well, this is the exercise we need, he might be able to get a change mm -hmm. in as little as two days. Oh. Okay, so that's a, that's a good sign for Oscar. Yeah. Now, if that then happens, all right, say we don't have any equipment. Yeah. Oscar's got no gym, membership mm -hmm. or it's you know we're in winter here so mm -hmm. it's difficult to get uh it takes a couple of days to organize the band yeah what can oscar do tonight tonight when he goes 
Oh, we can do some adductor stretching, like the weight for the adductor. Yes, yeah. that's yeah. a stretch. What else? And then now the other thing about the adductor stretch, mm -hmm. uh, you talked about the muscle release, right? Yeah. Better than a stretch because you've proven mm -hmm. by using your hands-on techniques mm -hmm. that you got an improvement in failures. Yeah. So what's more effective, hands-on techniques or a stretch? A stretch. Why? Well, because no, no. So yeah. Why? Yeah. So yeah. Why? Why, why isn't it the hands-on techniques yeah. that are giving you the result, and why is it a stretch? Oh, because hands-on techniques usually don't last as long. They usually mm -hmm. last like thirty minutes to up to two few hours. Mm -hmm. But a stretch can like change your muscle length over a period of time mm -hmm. because you're strength like you're not only uh, stretching the muscle, the fiber, you're also stretching like the nerves in the in the muscle. And in this session, have you proven that? Uh, no. no. Yeah. What have you proven in this session? Just the hands-on. Yes. So the hands-on increased the favors by how much? By it was I think it was down here and then it went down to But if zero is no change at all, ten is the best what what oh, I think it was six out of ten. That's pretty solid, isn't yeah, it? Yeah, it was pretty good. So the, we know that for sure. Yeah. That if soft tissue work is yeah. done here, yeah, then Favors improved by sixty yeah. percent. Would we then advise him to do stretching? Uh, I think yes, we would. Uh, or if you had the choice of giving yeah. either or, what would you do? I would. Oh, just picking one. Yeah. Or picking one. I would. I would pick hands on because hands on has a really good uh, effect. And also, you've yeah. proven it got a sixty percent change. Yeah, it does. You haven't proven the stretch. Right. Okay. If you had done the stretch and you got a, a result, you can say yeah. Oscar, do the releases yeah. and also do the stretch. Mm -hmm. But in this scenario, you only prescribe what, you, what sure. you've done. Yeah, 100%. Otherwise, it's very similar to going to a GP. GP mm -hmm. goes, mm, you know that. what? <laughs> I'll give you some antibiotics. I think you need it. Oh, yeah. All right. That's the word that you told me when I saw him. So <laughs> it's, it's not going to be helpful because they haven't assessed that component. Yeah. So you're only telling someone what you've assessed. Yeah. Okay, that's good. But going back to the strength component, mm -hmm. we don't have equipment, we yeah. don't have a chance to go to the gym. What can he do? Um, I think... Can he use isometrics? Yes. Yes. What we learned in the class is that he can sit against the wall yes. and then push as exactly. hard as you can against the wall because what he has at home. Perfect. Yes. yes. And that means that tonight yes. he's able to do this exercise at home. For sure. That's very powerful. Yeah. 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 Good. And that's the dosage I teach him as well. Yeah. That is something you can test here and now, mm -hmm. close to the pressures that you want. Okay. Sounds good. How How would you do that? Oh, I would just have him to sit against the wall and I have my hands on the leg yeah. and then press as hard as I can. Okay. How would you know? I mean, that's using a wall. Yeah. You're here right now. Oh, I can just use my hands here. All right, Oscar. You're All right. Trying to push against me. So he pushes, mm -hmm. how long might you hold it for? Uh, five seconds. Five seconds? Yes. How many sets would you do? Uh, three sets of uh, six to start. Yes. And see how, how, how it goes. After you do three sets, yeah. okay, yeah. what are you going to reassess? The favor. Beautiful. Yeah, let's go. Okay. <laughs> oh, also the strength test. Yes, yeah, exactly. Okay. One, okay. push against me. One, two, three, four, five, relax. Like one more time. One, two, Four, five, relax. Yes, two, three, one, two, three, four, five, relax. Okay, like one, two, three, four, five, relax. Okay, how many more? Okay, push, 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 push. One, four, five, relax. Okay, we'll do two more, okay? Ready? Push, push, push. Relax. Okay, ready? Last one. Push, 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 push. Okay, relax. Okay, all we're gonna do is touch your feet right in. Relax. Do you feel stretch? Can you go further? Yeah. Okay. okay. And then what I want is you go bring your leg. Relax. Let me let me bring your leg. Now I want you to hold this position, so I'm going to push it against you, okay? okay? I want you to push it against you, so I'm going this way now, okay? 
want to push against you. Yeah, I feel like it's, it's a little bit stronger. Oh, I feel so good now. I'm gonna be a physio soon. <laughs> yeah. Good. Given that, now we know what type of isometric exercise to give Oscar. Right. Oh, yeah, the uh, internal rotation of the head. Yep. Also. And you can teach him up against a wall. You know yeah. that can be done. From your oh, now that you know what you know, when would you like to see Oscar next? Uh, <clears throat> today is Thursday. I'll probably see him. Uh, Monday. Yes, why? Because we don't work in the weekend. Okay, if you did? If we did, I will see him on Saturday because we give him uh, two days to practice, get the muscle to activate it. And to see also, it. given that we yeah. know if the exercise is right, and in two days we can make a change. For sure. Yeah. Then we're going to see a test uh, change in the favors, we're going to yeah. change in the muscle strength, right? right? Yeah. And then you go to the next muscles that you need to cover. For sure. We can add more muscle groups mm -hmm. for you to do your muscles. And in your experience now, given yeah. what we have found, looking at Oscar's issue, yeah. which is being able to push 10 kilos, pull 10 kilos, mm -hmm. how long do you think it'll take Oscar to make a pretty good recovery? Pretty good recovery, I think, uh, let me think. If he's doing a uh, five seconds hold, uh, what is the timeline for him? What do you think the timeline is from where he's at now to yeah. where he's, um, I think I'll give uh, two weeks to like minimum because that's usually uh, the time for you to adapt into the training also to work on the muscle because right now we're only being focusing on um, like what's called external rotation of the whole external. External internal? Or internal rotation of the hip. Yeah. So we still have to work on external hip flexion. So you have all of that. So two, within two weeks, yeah. you're going to see a change. What's the maximum? What's the maximum? It could take up to like a couple months, in my opinion. It's, it's really so soft tissue can take up to six to 12 even, right? Yeah. So, but you know, this gives you, Oscar, a, a quite a nice window where we want to see results in between two to say even eight weeks, okay? Good. What do we do now? We, we can sit up, Oscar. Uh, yep. um, what should we do now? What, we, what should we do? We can write down the, oh, we take a video and then send it to Oscar. Do the, the exercises. exercises. Yes, yeah. I always recommend that. Yeah. Um, is it important to find out from Oscar uh -huh. whether he's satisfied with today's session or are you feeling all right? Yeah. Yeah, sorry. Um, what's a what's a follow up question to that? Are you do you want to come back again? That's another question. <laughs> but also, what I like to say is, well, Oscar, first of all, are you satisfied with today's session? And you said yes. Yeah. My question to you is why? Um. So one was um learning why he was doing all those different type of exercises on me, and understanding um. Yeah, understanding why he's doing it instead of me just acting like what's going on. Mm -hmm. And secondly, I'm um, seeing like an improvement of that thing, that exercise after he did some pressure points or whatever on me. Mm. And you got to see how that improvement. Yeah. Excellent. I totally agree. See you on Saturday if possible, you know, in a couple of days' time. Uh, we'd be looking at these tests. Uh, the other thing I would recommend is looking at when you're going to be working next and then trialing because you might be pushing 10, pulling 10 kilos. Uh, if it takes only 10 minutes to you know, bring on the discomfort or the symptoms, you might find if things are improving, it doesn't take 10, it might be 12, 13, 15 minutes. Okay? So you still don't be disheartened that you don't get a full change straight away, but there's a pathway over yeah. that, uh, let's say a two month period, eight week period. Mm -hmm. All right. Yeah. Any questions? No. Good. Any questions, Victor? Oh, I, I think it was good. I, I was quite surprised. Oh, I was really happy when I pressed down. Oh, I'm thinking from the, yeah. Mm -hmm. Good. Yeah. Excuse is real. That's cool. <laughs> okay. Uh, yeah, I was going to, so just do, Maybe you can message yourself um, whenever you can.
and then try um, doing the stuff like at the wall or go to the gym and do some. Um, do you remember the exercise that I just did with you? Uh, one was the press up. Yeah. And then the other one is uh, the one where you're going against. Going against here. Oh, that? Yeah, because yeah, you're trying to rotate. You're trying to rotate this way, so I'm pushing against here. So if you're in the gym, you see all the girls when they do legs, they go like, they have a, what's called band on their leg. Oh, yeah, yeah, like yeah. This all day. Yeah. So they're going this way all day. <laughs> yeah. And hopefully it will help you, and hopefully if you come back again, we can find you more exercises to, like, further strengthen your hip. Yeah. Yeah.